grease the truck and not waste any time. Be productive and get things done. Don't know how the sound on this is going to turn out because it's super freaking windy out here today. And you got a couple of really simple spots you can hit. Start with the easy one first. You got the steering linkage. There is one up in here that I don't usually do unless it starts getting squeaky. And I believe there's also one up underneath the steering wheel, which is a real pain to get to. But this one's easy. Shoot that with some grease and then we'll move on. The only tools you're going to need for the grease job is a rag and a grease pot. If you make sure the steering wheel is basically straight, your grease fitting should be pointing straight at you. All you gotta do is stick your grease fitting on. I always wipe my grease fittings off first so I don't squish anything juicy in there. Any grit inside the fitting. This is a 2015 Volvo with a D13 engine. You got a bunch of easy grease fittings to fit down here. You got the connecting rod. You got one there. And then in two. slack adjuster and you got the one on top of the kingpin and you got the one by my tie rod and then these Volvos also have where are we at here there's one in there on the grease on the spring shackle we'll hit these real quick and we'll do the other side yeah, very basically generally what I'll do Anything that's got a ball joint or it's got a boot on it, it's got a boot, I usually give it one pump. Just get a little grease in there. You put too much in, like this one here, you're going to end up blowing the boot out and then you got to replace it eventually. Huh? So this one's got a little bit of a rip in there, but it still holds grease. The kingpins, give it enough so it squishes out. In the setting, that's the lower kingpin grease. You'll see it come out right there. The upper one, you'll see start squishing out right there. You got your slack adjuster on the bottom of the slack adjuster right here. You'll see it start squishing out around the outside edges. You got your S cam. You'll see that start squishing out right there. Put just enough in so you see the you see the new grease squishing out or. So you see a little bit of the old grease. I typically grease my truck about once a week, so I don't use a lot of grease each time I do it. Now passenger side is gonna be exactly the same as the driver's side, except for we're not gonna have the steering linkage to grease. We'll have a tie rod. We'll have the lower kingpin fitting, the upper kingpin fitting, slack adjuster, S-cam. I'll take care of this side. Yeah, and our little bracket. And on the Volvos, we have a rear spring shackle. It's got two grease fittings one on each side. And there's also a nipple for the clutch throw out. <coughs> the clutch throw out. Yeah, I hit that, which unfortunately. I can't get far enough under my truck without having ramps under it. So that one I only do when I am doing the oil change at home. And the back axle is going to be similar to the front. We're going to have a grease fitting on top of the slack adjuster on the S cam. And that's really the only thing on these Volvos. As far as a chassis that needs greased so you got all four of those you can reach all four of them by standing up you don't got to get underneath it to do it if you throw some grease on the fifth wheel the fifth wheel has got four zerks on it and one two on this side there it is two on this side and two on the other side and that's all there is on the back same as the front, 
put enough grease in there so they start squishing out and you're good.